everybody. I'm back for more. I'm into Jesus always now. So, can't wait to see what's in store for that. And Lord only knows if I'm going to be emotional or what's going to happen. Because I don't read ahead. Every emotion that I have on my YouTube channel is all raw. Period. Unrehearsed. Unreviewed. Never read the whole nine yards. Believe it, don't believe it. I answer to him. And I've always been honest, despite others saying I was not honest. That's their demons they need to, to slay. I've already done, I've already been slaying mine. I am making everything new. Oh boy, if that's not the best statement of the year. <laughs> Trying to make the world new too, just so you know. It's my goal. The new world needs to be one of love and kindness, don't you think? This is the opposite of what is always happening in your world of death and decay. <laughs> wow. Every day that you live means one less day remaining in your lifespan on this earth. Actually, this is very good news for my followers. At the end of each day, you can tell yourself, I'm one step closer to heaven. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a pretty great way to look at life now, isn't it? The world is in such a desperately fallen condition that there is only one remedy for it, making everything new. So do not be discouraged when your efforts to improve matters are unsuccessful. All things, including your efforts, are tainted by the fall. Although I want you to endeavor to, to do your best in dependence on me, your world needs much more than a tune-up or an overall. Oh, you think? It's an, it's, an, America, it, it, I'm going to pull this from Legally Blonde. What did she say? Something about, it's like America just got a, the bad, the worst haircut in their life. You ever had a bad haircut? They are the worst. Even though your hair grows back, they are the worst. So. We need lots of love and kindness under his direction. Not what we're dealing with in our current administration. It needs to be made completely new. And this is absolutely guaranteed to happen at the end of time. For my words are trustworthy and true. You have good reason to rejoice, beloved, because I will make everything, including you, new and gloriously perfect. I'm ready for that. Well, there's a will, there's a way. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Revelations 21, verse 5. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Philippians 1, verse 21. We know that the whole creation has been groaning, as in the pains of childbirth, right up to the present time. Not only so, but our, we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemptions of our bodies. Romans 8, verse 22 through 23. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm getting tired, so I think I'm going to take a little nap since I've been up since 3.23, and it's now 5.52, so I can sleep for a little bit if I want to go to church, which I'm going to go to church today no matter what. I need to go, even if I get there and it's just finishing up, or if I get there late, I'm going. I'm going. So, say some prayers for me. I'll save some prayers for you. And we'll chat later. Bye. Love you. Have a great day. It's Sunday fun day. Another day the Lord has made. And I'm awake while I'm alive. I'm about to take a nap. And you're awake in your life. So, on that note, how can you not walk through the day with a spring in your step? Because you got another day to make a difference in life.
so do that. Spread love and kindness wherever you go.